we're going to have some more Shakespeare today. Uh, this is a piece which I've thought about reading before. Uh, John of Gaunt's famous speech from King Richard II. And yet I've been put off by feeling that it was actually a bit of overblown, unrealistic patriotism. It's not that at all. It's a lament, a lament for his country that he loves and loved, has loved, and how it's become something so different from what it was and what it should be. So very apposite for our times. This royal throne of kings, this sceptred isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars, this other Eden, demi-paradise, this fortress built by nature for herself against infection and the hand of war, this happy breed of men, this little world, this precious stone set in a silver sea, which serves it in the office of a wall or as a moat defensive to a house against the envy of less happier lands. This blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England, this nurse, this teeming womb of royal kings, feared by their breed and famous by their birth, renowned for their deeds as far from home, for Christian service and true chivalry, as is the sepulchre in stubborn jury of the world's ransom, blessed Mary's son. This land of such dear souls, this dear, dear land, dear for her reputation through the world, is now leased out. I die pronouncing it, like to a tenement or pelting farm. England bound in with the triumphant sea, whose rocky shore beats back the envious siege of watery Neptune, is now bound in with shame with inky blots and rotten parchment bonds, that England, that was wont to conquer others, hath made a shameful conquest of itself. <laughs> 